you know, what to expect from my team, obviously being all for so long, obviously going into exams. And we talked about uh, obviously coming out and getting out to a good start. I thought we had one of the best halves that we've had, especially uh, in the first half on a defensive end. I thought we did a great job uh, holding those guys at 24 points, uh, doing a good job of taking away the threes. They're a team that make a lot of, take a lot of threes and make a lot of threes. Uh, was very happy with some of the guys' effort. Uh, when you look at TD, uh, he's played well lately. Uh, 17 rebounds is a career high. And Markel Johnson has practiced really well this week. And when you look at it, I thought he played well on the offensive end. Uh, we talked about in the locker room uh, being able to finish games. Uh, you know, obviously, this is a group that we just put together and we're starting to get better. Uh, we'd like to see us play a little bit better uh, in the second half as far as uh, you know, doing a great job on the defensive end, but you know, obviously that's something that we can work on. Questions? So is the red jacket a one-game thing for Reynolds, or is that something we might uh, see more of later in the year? Well, we want to know in it, so there's a good chance you can see it again. But you know, I I, I just feel special about Reynolds. Um, you know, coming into this atmosphere, it's a great venue to play in, and um, you know, for some reason, some told me to pull out the red jacket today. Coach, a few games with a few slow starts into them. Is there anything to get them going in the beginning? Looking forward. Well, I, I think we. I think I don't think we started off slow. I thought we missed some shots. I thought uh, South Carolina State game. We we had a, a really good start, and I thought we did a good job this one. I, I didn't think that uh, we talked about that. Uh, obviously, getting guys off to a good start, and I thought our guys did a good job today. I was happy with our our start today. You know, obviously we missed some shots early, but I'm very happy with that. Horn's ability to just crash the glass over and over at, at six five. What? How is he able to do that? What? What does he use to, to make that happen? Well, he, he's uh, he's very active, um, and you know, rebounding is a lot about how much you want to go get it. And, and certainly, um, we've talked about him rebounding the basketball. You know, he gives us the ability to play small ball at times, and you know, you can play that way if the guy is averaging you know uh, almost eight seven eight rebounds a game and. And certainly helped us out tonight by getting six, I mean, 17, and, and obviously had six offensive rebounds. You guys only had one steal in the second half. You had seven in the first. Was that not as aggressive on defense as you wanted to be, or was that the style of defense you were playing? Because uh, that's how Kansas City kind of cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, I, I didn't think, um, Steve, I didn't think we were able to get into our presses as much. Um, you know, we wasn't as sharp offensively in the second half, and so we didn't have as many opportunities to press. I, I think that was a big reason for it. Coach, what did you think about Abu coming back? He obviously was a little limited, but nine minutes, what did you think? I, I thought he was uh, – I, I was excited to see him out there. I, I thought he was a little anxious. Uh, you know, he was um, – you know, his timing is off, and it's going to take a little time. Uh, you know, you can't simulate the game speed in practice, and, and so obviously we got to get him in a few more games. But I was happy to get him in, into the game. I didn't know if I was going to play him. I felt like nine or ten minutes was the appropriate amount of time to play him today. What has he been like in practice this week? Has he been almost like a caged animal wanting to get out there and go? Or I wouldn't call him. Back? I wouldn't call him a caged animal. <laughs> we both would get in trouble for that. Yeah. But I think he's, a, um, you know, he's excited about playing. He's excited about getting out there. He's playing extremely hard. And you know what, what I'm telling him to do is until he gets his field back, just to go rebound the basketball. You can you can see that on the, the, the catches he fumbled underneath. Is that what you mean, Kevin? Yeah, absolutely. The, the field. Yeah, you know what he did? He fumbled a couple of times and then he pointed at the point guard and said, I was like, no, no, no. They, they got, got the turnovers, turnovers, though. They got charged with the turnovers. Who got the turnover? Both the passer, both times. Really? <laughs> yeah. We're going to change that day. <laughs> Anything else for Coach? A season high 52 rebounds for you guys. What, what went right for you guys on the glass today? I just think it was a lot of opportunities. Uh, most of them came in the second half. We really guarded in the, in the first half. I'm sorry, in the first half. We really guarded. And, you know, it's, it's tough, um, you know, when you got a bunch of new guys, you know, playing up 23 at halftime and they got to figure out how to finish games and everything else. But I, I thought most of our rebounds came in the uh, first half. And we talked about it. I told them, uh, you know, in order for us to be a good basketball team, we got to start rebounding the basketball. Uh, I challenged them to get, you know, offensive rebounds, and we got 18 of them. Was this your first live game at Reynolds that you've attended? This is my first live game in the new Reynolds. Uh, obviously, I've been in Reynolds and watched plenty of games, but this was my first one. Great atmosphere. It's a great place to play. I mean, I went, West should not never lose a game in here. I just want y'all to tell me that. <laughs>
Once uh, this is the fourth time this season that your team has committed more turnovers than the opposing team, uh, what uh, what does where do you guys need to improve moving forward on that? I think we need to improve, but the way we play, uh, you, you're going to we're going to have some turnovers. Uh, I you look at it as more than the other team. I look at it as as you know, do we have more assist and turnovers? And when you look at it, we had 16 assists and 15 turnovers. As a coach, obviously, I would love for us to be under 10. But we play a style that, you know, you, we're going to have some turnovers. One more. Coach, you seem to be, with the red jacket talking about runs, you seem to be really embracing traditions at NC State. Is that the right impression I'm getting? Absolutely. I mean, this is, I, I told you when I um, took the job, this is a beautiful place. I mean, I, I love NC State. You know, when we talk about it, it's a great institution, you know, both academically, basketball-wise, we got tremendous support. Uh, it's a great place. Uh, you know, and the, the red jacket felt really good. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Josh. <laughs>